Right. Hello, hello. How are we? How are we? Hello, Laura. How are you? Uh, I'm just going to wait a little while and then we can get cracker lacking. I hope everybody is okay, whether or not you're watching this live or whether or not you are watching this on the replay. Um, I hope you are all doing well and uh, I'm very good. Thank you very much, Laura. I am very good. I finished my essay today, uh, my penultimate essay of my penultimate year at university. So the hard work, the real hard work starts now. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. But we've got a really, really good, good evening this evening. Um, I cannot wait to kind of get this up and running it'd be good it'd be good just have another slurp of tea while we wait i was a little bit late today as well oops so and i'm sorry if you can hear my son in the background he's bought these new earphones and he cannot hear anything but we can hear everything that he does he really really just doesn't have a quiet voice um i'm doing english literature laura i may become a teacher in time i may become a teacher so right um i don't know if anybody else is coming uh, i don't know if your mum said that she was on youtube any uh, now didn't you help her out or something with the uh with getting online oh there she is well, at the moment, it's you and Laura. So, hello. Hello. Um, well, I might as well get on, eh? And get going. Right. So, this evening, we are going to be doing... Um, we are going to be doing pocket letters. So, I'll show you what a pocket letter is. Now, a pocket letter or what... Yeah, I'll show you what a pocket letter is. So a pocket letter is essentially this A4 sheet here with our sections. There's nine sections and they are measured by two and a half by three and a half. And then obviously you then cut them down. I did put some free printables on my Facebook page if you wanted to pop on over and have a look um i shall be taking them down very very soon because obviously i sell them in my etsy shop as well which i shall link below at the end of the video so here we go so i've that's basically what your pocket letter is and it is made up on i've got a couple of other examples here as well it's made up basically of um like a baseball card folder so this one here is one that I did. I'm trying not to get the glare there. Um, this one is actually a mixed media page that I've got in one of my art journals. So we've got that there. And then you've got your nine just along there. And then, hi Maria, how are you? And then we've got this one here, which I've actually popped on um, a wire work hello on there. And then we've got uh, one of the Prima paper doll girls and then i've got a um a doily just on the on the bottom there and then um just the paper so you can decorate these as much or as little as you want depending obviously on how much you want to pay for postage here is another one i think this one is one of the ones that i popped up on the facebook group so if you wanted to have a go yourself hi gabrielle so here we go we've got this and then i've got love i've done basically i've just popped in two holes on either side and then put this onto a piece of string so then this goes all the way through to the back there and i've just got music paper on the back and then we've got a lovely little colored in uh, face there and then i also think i also think i uh i put 
put this one up on my Facebook group as well. So if you wanted to have a go, then you can do. But as I say, I have got different designs in my Etsy shop if you want to pop along and have a go. So um, basically a pocket letter is something that you can, um, it's, it's a letter with pockets essentially and this is what your basic pocket letter is and it is like i say it's something that you put your baseball cards in i don't know if you remember back in the day the um oh what they're called garbage pail kids if you've got cards like that the stickers you could probably use that for those so that's that's that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop you down and i'm going to show how to construct one of these but if you haven't got those i've also got two other methods that you can use with bits that are literally just around the house so i'm going to pop you down and then we can get on with the crafting i'm just going to move you down to my desk okay so i've got my guillotine here and then i have got one of my jelly plate prints that i did the other week um on the jelly plate jelly plate printing um video if you haven't seen that video it is up on my youtube so if you want to pop and have a look so on here i am now this is just literally a normal um normal a4 sheet of paper if you are um, in America I think they have a, a letter size which is slightly smaller than this so um, that is uh, that's that so I'm going to go to two and a half in oops oh dear I forgot to turn my forgot to turn that down didn't I I wonder if I can do it now probably not oh well I do apologize right so I'm just going to pull that down there so that's two and a half inches move that one out of the way bring this one across two and a half inches Go, two and a half inches and then two and a half inches so that's two and a half inches there then I can grab all of these together and then we're going to do three and a half inches so if I just get all of these together and then we're going to pop that in there I don't know if you can see that if I bring that down there we go just going to do three and a half inches for that one three and a half inches for that one and three and a half inches for that one now essentially we have made nine ATCs now I'm just going to move this out of the way such a good guillotine I've had that for years it's fabulous Right then, so this is essentially an ATC. So an ATC is a uh, an artist trading card, if you will. So if you wanted to make these up onto craft card or onto a mixed media card or something like that, you could then pop your details on the back on a sticker or something like that. So then each card is obviously individual to that person that you give that to. So it could be a bit like a business card or if you do sell and make jewellery, you could then turn these into cards for popping your jewellery onto, just as something a little bit different for when we do go back to um, having craft fairs and things like that. So as you can see now, we have got all of our squares. Now, I thought I would do these two colours. I've got some green ones here because we've got St. Patrick's Day coming up at the end of next week. So is it the end? Is it what is it wednesday isn't it next week so as you can see here these are um pro ultra and they're silver i think that's the, the company so i'm just going to take our pockets and i'm literally just going to pop these in so see they just sit in there really really nicely so we just pop in our pockets and as i say these um this printed paper was from when we did our jelly prints so I have been slowly using um, the jelly prints that I created uh, the other week so I'm just going to do in fact we'll move that and we'll put some of these ones in you can put in different sheets if you want to you can uh, create a whole picture if you want to um, it's just a nice way of doing this you know if you wanted to do something a little bit different this is great for Christmas I did one for my um, for my dad's 
birthday and for Father's Day and pop some seeds in there as well. But you'll be able to see that a little bit later on. So I'll pop that onto there and then I'm going to pop another, another one of these just in there. So how are we all doing, everybody? Are we doing good? Have we had a good day? Let's pop that into there like so. So now, let's move these ones out of the way. So now we've got our pocket letter. So this is just your decorative piece on the on the front side there. So as you saw earlier on, I did um, on this one here, I've actually punched two holes with a hole punch and then I've literally just done a little bit of a um, of a charm on there and then just tied that at the back. And again, you can decorate the back as well. So that is essentially your the bare bones of your pocket letter. So I'm just going to swap that over now for another one. And what we've got here is one that I've actually finished. So we've got um, some washi tape just up the side here. So you can pop your washi, washi tape just up the side here just to cover the holes or you can cut that off if you like but if you if you do cut it off just be very aware that we've got the section here that is um sealed obviously to keep your pockets in situ but you you can get rid of that if you don't want that so on here as i say i've popped on some washi tape and then i've actually used one of the um bottle tops that i did the pergam not pergamano that's something completely different the pebio the pebio paints um and the cup chain i popped that on there um as well so i've literally just i'm hanging that as a um as a charm on here yes gabrielle they are basically um i'll show you as i talk through this one and then we can move on to move on to the next ones um, and then I've literally just added on a few little um, a few little embellishments and things like that. So I'm going to flip this over now and this is going to answer Gabrielle's question. So what is a pocket letter? So basically, I mean, if you wanted to, you could just do three, like have a whole sheet and then do three letters. So you could then cut each and then you've got three in each. But a whole sheet will fit into a DL a uh, car uh, dl letter uh, envelope and this you would then buy a large large stamp um yeah a stamp for a large letter a large letter stamp so this will i will show you how this fits in there in a second so what have we got on the back of our pocket letter so to start off with i'm going to go from this side here we've got a little bit of a tag here and on here I've got some washi tape so washi tape is just like a paper tape so if you do um, if you do planning if you're a, an avid planner you can then just because it's a, a low tack tape it easily peels off so it's just a nice way of popping this like so so you've got that there so I've got different sections of tape onto there um a dl is um it's basically like a, a legal size so when you get your letters from um from the bank and things like that this is the size that you'll get an a5 is a c6 i think bear with bear with i think where are here we go this is uh, sorry a c5 so that is a c5 so you possibly could fold it in half and put it into one of these um but you know one of these or one of these is perfectly fine so that's the washi tape so you can literally just peel the washi tape off and i've literally just popped that onto card as well so it's not going to rip off on the card either so you literally can just rip that off as and when so if you've got any decorative tapes like that it's a washi tape is like a um a tissue tape so it's, a, it's like a, a very light tissue tape so in this pocket here we have got some sticky notes so if you wanted to put some sticky notes in there for somebody and you know these are actually quite fun because they've got like a a typewriter on there so you can pop some sticky notes 
into there if you wanted to you don't have to do anything um stationary themed you could do it jewelry themed so if you wanted to you could get little plastic little plastic bags and pop in some findings in here i've got some more tags on this side here i've got these little stickers and i think i got these from aliexpress years and years and years ago um so there we go we've got um just some stickers that i popped into there so these are just little fun stickers that you can use on projects or if you wanted to pop them in your planners or something like that that would be amazing so you've got that there and then i thought as it was you know um international women's month um i would pop in a cup of tea and we would call it um, and we would use the womankind which is by pucker excuse me a moment um and so you can pop in a tea bag that's very very important that you pop in a tea bag so then they can make up a cup of tea whilst they're reading your beautiful letter in here i've just popped in a few little bits so this could be like gemstones or something like that if you are if you make some jewelry there's some tags up here and then in this top middle one just up here i have popped in my actual letter so then you would then write a letter to your pen pal or what have you and i've basically just popped in what my favorite colors are my favorite book sport cake and then just a little um a little bit of information about myself there so you can find online on pinterest and things like that um you can um oh that's all right gabrielle um you can find all sorts of questions and things like that to uh, to write in in your letters or you could do tags like so you could do one and then um, send another message to somebody else and then just have it like a, a running tag. So I will show you how this then will fold up into there. So this is literally just going to fold up into a letter. And then you've got this bit here. Let's put this into there. And this section in here. And then you're going to pop that into your envelope. Making sure that I'm still in shot. And then that is going to fold shut like so. The sticky is not very good on this because I think I've already stuck this down once. And then you can tape that across and that will go in as a large letter. So as you can see, if you don't overstuff it, it's not going to be too, too full. So that's one alternative so you could do that kind of thing so another thing i thought i would show you is um using if you haven't got the plastic the plastic folders this is a sandwich bag so we have now got just a normal sandwich bag okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop in here with my glue and I'm going to glue down the gutters of the sandwich bag. So on one side, and then we'll glue down the gutters on the other, like so. There we go. So now what I've glued down the gutters of our sandwich bag, and then I'm just going to slice open the top end of here, like so. So I'm just going to pop that in there and take the end off there just a little bit there so we've now got a a windsock <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold this over like so so this is a really good alternative to um at christmas time or even at easter if you don't want to give people easter eggs this is a really nice alternative because you can stuff it with loads of goodies so i'm just going to glue that side whoops a bit too far with the glue there so i'm going to glue it on that side and then i'm going to glue on that side 
So now, if you're looking at this sandwich bag, we've got a pocket, another pocket, and then a larger pocket. So what are you going to put in this? Well, you can pop in a letter, you can pop in a card, you can put in gift cards and things like that. At Christmas time, you could put in some decorations that you've made. If you've made some earrings or something like that, you could put those in. Make it a complete package. So what we're going to do now is to go ahead and decorate this. And I've actually picked out a few bits. I've actually got one that's already stuck down. And I've picked out a few bits. So here I've got a uh, just a nice piece of card that you could have your either your letter on or something like that and i'm just going to slide i can see that and this paper is just from the works the works is a fantastic place as we found out yesterday for all sorts of things so right just i've got a few bits and pieces here these are all kind of things that i have made up along the way so as you know, I actually do um, junk journals and things like that. Um, and I love using something that is not meant to be used for that purpose. So that's why I love using these sandwich bags. There is another way of using the sandwich bags. I'll show you this here. This is just a little envelope um, kind of thing that I've created here. I've got a little closure with a, a um, domino on there. And then this is uh, what I would call a snippet or a cluster so it's using all of my scraps left over from when i do my junk journaling and then i open this up and then inside we have got a concertina accordion style envelope i might do a um show you how to show to um, <laughs> show you how to uh, create this because again this is with the sandwich bags and this helps me out for when i've um, when I'm doing either projects or if I'm doing a, um, a demonstration or something like that because you can pop things into the pockets there if you keep receipts if you need to keep receipts coupons anything like that this is a really nice kind of thing to pop in your bag it's kind of on the same premise as this but not not quite but I might um, at some point show you how to create one of those so these are some of the snippets and things that i've created now i've got some coffee dyed paper here and i'm going to use that as my letter so that is going to be my letter and i think on top of there i'm going to add just move that out of the way i'm going to add this little um butterfly here that we've got here i uh, there is some videos on my actual youtube channel um on how I've created these so I'm just gonna pop that onto the back it kind of reinforces everything as well and we can just glue that onto the back I just love getting creative so pop that onto there what's everybody else been working on over the last couple of days I mean I can't believe it's Tuesday already for goodness sake the weeks are just going so so fast aren't they so there we go i've popped that onto the front there and now i can write my little note on there so that can go into my letter at some point so i've now popped obviously that into there i'm going to pop these little snippets on either side there just to to give it a little bit of decoration so i'm just gonna pop that on the side and again, I just use scraps for these. So I'm just going to pop that on the corner right there. And then I'm going to pop this one on the corner as well. So a couple of weeks ago um, on Babble Dabble, we did um, some Scrabble work. You know, if you wanted to kind of incorporate this type of thing into that, that would be absolutely fantastic. I've got this you could pop something like that onto the front oh dear Gabrielle well I hope you do get better soon I really do hope you get better soon um, I'm just going to give this a little bit of an age so this is vintage photo by Tim Holtz I'm just going to make this look a little older like so so 
so we can just make that look a little bit older and then I'm going to glue that onto my bag like so so I'm just going to pop that and pop that underneath or I'm gonna do hmm mm, no I'll just do it that way so I'm just gonna pop that onto there and then I've got a, a number here that I have already embossed I've popped like a some clear embossing powder on it and then heated that up and that's melted that down so I'm just gonna put that onto there so we're kind of decorating our um, our pockets as you would do with your pocket letters as well. So let's see. I've got a nice little tag there that we can pop inside here. So you can pop that into your pocket there. And then we've got another little tag. In fact, I'll put that tag at the back and then... Oh, fantastic. That sounds amazing, Maria. That really, really does. So pop that into there. And then um, I've got some more bits that I have been recycling. Now, these are bags from Tesco. So if you go into Tesco's and you go to the fruit and veg section, instead of the plastic bags now, they've got these um, paper bags. And of course, some of you may or may not know, I actually work at Tesco. So I've acquired some of these and um, I've actually recycled them to work as pockets themselves. So these actually work like an actual pocket in a junk journal. And here I've got, this is actually a junk journal that I'm going to do a giveaway on. So I'll show you this. I've got this junk journal here that I've created and this is going to be a giveaway I think I've got one in here yes as you can see I've used it as a pocket in my junk journal here so that's what I do with them is I actually use these as little pockets so this is going to be actually a giveaway in a few weeks time so you just need to keep an eye out on my Instagram and on this channel here so I'm just going to pop that back into there and move that over there so that's what I use these for um <laughs> yes acquired acquired so that's the um the recycled bag so what I'm going to do is I've got these lovely little pictures of these children I'm just going to pop these into here so if you go away for a day out or something like that you can pop your tickets in here or something like that when we can go for days out you know like if you you go to a national trust house or something like that so there you go we've got those sitting in there so that can go just in the top there so can you now see how it's kind of all bulking out and becoming a little bit more like a pocket letter and then that would be my actual letter inside there and then to finish it all off if you wanted to you could then get some string, which oops, I have here. Let me get a bit of string. So, and you can then just pop that onto there, like so, and then wrap it up like you would do a little parcel and then you could send that obviously you'd need a bigger envelope for this one but there you go so you could then send that you could make a little um charm or something just to hang off there and then you've got just like a nice little pocket letter to send away these are perfect for christmas as i say you could do um like a little miniature um advent calendar with these because then you could have different pockets for each day add different things for each day you know so you could have different pockets in all sorts of things so that is um that is one way of doing your pocket letter uh, if you haven't got the 
the actual pockets. Another way of doing your pocket letters, just get myself sorted. Okay, another way is with some book page. So I'm just going to take this as an old dictionary that I've had for ages. So please don't shout at me for destroying a book because it was already destroyed. I'm going to take four pages. I'm just going to take four of these pages. Now a dictionary is actually quite good for doing this. If you do it with a book, you have to kind of read through the pages just in case there is no swear words or anything that can be, um, you know, um, a little bit more risque shall we say so we've got four pages here now with this i'm going to just tear that down the side so we've now got two separate and one double this double is going to be our main pocket so i'm going to just glue down this edge along here and along here so you only need to do three edges so you're only going to glue along three of your edges and then you can close that up and allow that to dry and just let the glue do its thing so now with your next piece we're going to fold this over so fold it in half And what you want to do is you want to make sure that your writing is going in the same direction. You could have it upside down if you wanted to, but I think aesthetically it's just nicer to have it um, in the same direction. So with this piece, I'm going to use a little bit of tape as well. I'm just going to tape this section down here and then this section down here. And then we can just use some glue just to make it go a bit quicker just get my pokey tool lift that up so there's one side and oops i knew that was gonna happen how did i know that was gonna happen and there we go on that side so just get rid of the rubbish and then i'm just going to glue the rest And all the way down so now just glue that so now we've got our two glued sections and then this one we're going to fold once all oh, the science ones you could do some really fantastic steampunk style um, pocket letters with those Gabrielle absolutely absolutely amazing uh, yes it is Gabrielle my crafty stash is is huge yes um but you know it's it's all good it's all good so i'm just gluing that down together so i've now glued that and half and then we'll just do the same half the other half again so we're down to a quarter and again this is going to create stability so we're now left with three different sections you can cut them but as i say i like the fact that we're building up layers so i'm now going to glue the three edges of this one and that is going to create our first pocket so uh, i tell you what the science books will be amazing i have actually got some science books down here that i want to do some things with it's just finding the time isn't it you know all these ideas and then unfortunately things like housework work itself you know all of that kind of thing gets in the way so then i've, I've just glued down the other three on the third one there and then i'm just going to glue that down onto there so we've now got three pockets now i have got one that i made earlier in good old P blue peter style i've glued it but i've also gone around the sewing machine and sewn it so as you can see here i've gone around and sewn it as well you don't have to do this i just think it looks really quite cool when you do something like that you know there's all sorts of different kind of um 
stitches that you can use on your sewing machine i've got a very small one up here but i actually use my my normal sewing machine which is a bit naughty really but never mind it's all good it's all good so then actually i'll do it with this one first as you can see i've got a, a little um notch just on the top here and i've used um a, an inch punch and i think i got this one from the range ages ago so you could then um i think you can get them in the works as well so the range all the works and then just kind of find the middle of your page and then just pop that out there and you've got a nice little notch there it kind of gives it that vintage feel so again all you're going to do is literally you can fill it with uh we've got like these lovely little boys here again on here um we have got actually what i might do with this one because i've done the sewing i think i might do a little bit of lace so you can pop a little bit of lace on the edge there and i'm just going to cut this is just um cotton lace cotton lace if you wanted to you could have actually sewn that on with the sewing machine but i didn't know i wanted to do lace so just go with that <laughs> pop that onto there if you wanted to as well you can then um dye your lace if you've got a certain color scheme that you you would like to do you could dye your lace um to make it the same color I'm just kind of having a look to see if there's anything in here that i can use so in here i've got some um little cards that we can back onto uh, paper and it's got some nice little spring style um spring style pictures on flowers and things like that if you go out on country walks you could then talk about your your country walks and things like that just write little notes so we've got this here as well you can make a do a little notebook in there so you could pop that into there so if you know somebody who likes to go out on country walks then that's absolutely perfect let's see i'm just having a look in here this i'm just going to show you what i'm looking in is this is what i kind of make all my little embellishments and things and then i just stuff them in here basically so um yeah that's what i that's what i'm looking at when i'm kind of going off going off on one just to see what i can pop into pop into my little pocket letter there see i've done these little like specimen cards if you wanted to make it a little bit more grungy you could pop one of those in here we've oh here we've got some nice specimen cards actually so we've got like these you could pop something like that in there if you wanted to go with like a nature theme um and then I've got like an altered paper clip. I might pop, pop him back into there. And then we've got this nice little tag that we can then pop into this little pocket at the top. Like so. So you can pop that just in the top there. So if you've got any photos or something like that, you could pop pop that onto there um and then you could put like a little um a little charm on the top which i might do and we've got another one of these do i want to do that do i want to do that oh i don't know i don't know i can leave that but yeah so these are kind of all the different things that you can do I have got another tag there if you wanted to do another tag or if you wanted to decorate again like with the snippets where are we hmm. so you could pop something like that down on there oh i quite like that there so i'm just gonna glue that onto there it's just another little scrap that i found so this is what it's all about is just allowing yourself that little bit of time just to to kind of make things you could send this off to somebody with all of their favorite things in there if they like you know certain animals or any kinds of um like again if you are a jewelry maker you could then do that for jewelry or something like that absolutely fantastic really 
Um, a snippet, Gabrielle, is... Let's have a look. Actually, this is what I want, would like to do at some point. So this is actually quite a good little segue. So it's almost like we planned this. A snippet is something that you would make out of scraps so i've got all of my scraps in this in this box here i keep everything like all the little slithers little cutouts whenever i'm um doing my junk journals or anything like that so that is what's in i even have some faux moss why wouldn't you so these are all the types of things that i pop in there and when i mean when i say a snippet if i show you this this is actually a, a a whole journal i don't know if you'll be able to see that i'm actually working on and a snippet is this is all made up of all my scraps little bits that i've actually cut out um and or there's like bits of book page just little bits of leftover this is tea bags you know old tea bags little pictures that i've used there um another great example is these here i've just done little snippets on here and i've sewn these ones just on here if you have a look there it's just a bit difficult because it's such a quite a big <laughs> big um big journal so this is what i'm trying to kind of culminate all together um, and there's another snippet just on the underside of here this is another snippet here as you can see i use all different kind of things on there um and here's a this is actually a better example because it's a lot bigger and you've got book page you've got like other little bits and pieces that are left over from digital kits that i've bought in the past or just things that i've printed off the internet you know so and then that is basically what a snippet or a cluster if you hear the word cluster as well it's the same kind of thing so that is um basically what this is going to be it's a it's what you call a um a lap book this is going to be a lap book and it's just folds out and folds out and there's pockets and all kinds of things everywhere but i would like to um in the future kind of do maybe perhaps a um once a month do something on building up a journal for the end of the year you know so then in in an, in the next year you could then start writing in it and have it as a thought style journal so i mean it was a little bit of a well it wasn't really that quick was it today but um just a little bit of a quick one just something a little bit different um just something that you can do to you know, if you want to send people something you know it's nice to get a bit of happy mail sometimes you know if you wanted to um just create something for somebody with what i've done with my actual pocket letter i don't know where i put it oh well um <laughs> so if you wanted to send somebody a uh a message or if you just wanted to have something nice to to kind of pop through the door these are just different ways of creating um, a little bit of snail mail so to speak so that is essentially what a pocket letter is if you pop onto pinterest you'll see so many ideas there's harry potter pocket letters there's um there's like haberdashery pocket letters there's all kinds of pocket letters so that is kind of my take on a pocket letter and these um kind of pockets can be used in your journals as well so they are a little bit of a multi-purpose but it's a great way of kind of creating a a kit a and you know a, a journal kit for somebody if they're going away on holiday or something like that so i hope you enjoyed that i'm just going to lift you up here hello 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 and oh crikey there we go there we go that's much better isn't it so that is basically what a um what a pocket letter is so if you wanted to do something like that if you want to kind of talk to people that you've met in other groups and things so we've got people who are in babble dabble we've got the people who are in um laura binding's crafty elevensies you've got 
uh, Nadia's group as well I think there's um, a couple of other groups as well so if because we've all kind of met and we all see each other on all these different I think Natalia's group as well you know it'd be such a lovely way to kind of connect without having to see each other I know we can connect on the internet but it's so nice to get something through the post and um, you know it's like getting happy mail isn't it it's absolutely fantastic so I think this is a great way to kind of spread love joy and you know just a little bit of happiness so next week's um next week's project is going to be something I'm trying to alternate from one to the other so a little bit of jewelry or something like that and a little bit of mixed media so next week's is a little bit of um mixed media that can be used as a memory keeper but can also be used as jewelry as well and it can be used alongside you can do it with dominoes or you could do it with polymer clay i am going to do it with both and it's literally something this is with dominoes here something that looks a little bit like this so on the same premise as a journal type thing so i'm just going to un untie that on this side as well so we've got two dominoes and then you can open that up and you've got all kinds of lovely little messages on the and then on the inside of another so this is something that you can do as i say with polymer clay as your your main bits or you could use dominoes or something that's um quite flat so you could use the wooden dominoes as well or if you've got any of the uh wooden um sections you could really you could do something like that so this is something that we're going to go through with next week so keep your eyes out for that and that's it really there's not much else just to say thank you again for taking um taking the time to spend some time with me it it is fantastic that you uh choose to spend an hour or so with me it, it really really does mean mean a lot to me so um thank you so so much and look out for the giveaway as well i will be doing a video in the next week or two for the giveaway for the uh for the junk journal let everybody know you know i'm it's going to be open on my youtube channel and that's it really so thank you so much for joining me this evening it has been lovely and i really hope that you um you kind of either send this to you know do something like this and send it to your family or something like that father's day well mother's day is on sunday so it might be a bit late but you could you could squeeze one out and send it for mother's day this week um or birthdays or anything like that or even just to say you're amazing or just to say you know thank you so i will see you soon i will see you next week and don't forget that there's babble and dabble on monday next week at seven and there's laura bindings crafty 11 z's at 11 on thursday morning and i think she's got a very special announcement and a special guest i think so i will see you out and about but i will definitely see you next tuesday bye i can't believe i just said that